Raila Amolo Odinga is bidding farewell to his ODM party. And remember that currently ODM is actually the second largest party here in Kenya. But Raila Odinga is doing this because he wants to aim for the continental job of the Commission of the African Union Chairman. So the question is, what exactly is the next political future of the ODM party ahead of the 2027 general elections without Raila Amolo Odinga as the party leader? Do you think that the ODM party will still exist ahead of the 2027 general elections with the absence of Raila Amolo Odinga? Because as for me, without Raila, then ODM is dead completely. Also remember the existence of the ODM party rebels who are already frustrating Raila Amolo Odinga in ODM. What about now that Raila Odinga is not there? What do you think will happen? And that is why I still insist that in the 2027 general elections will actually be the walk in the park for President William Samuel Ruto. William Ruto will not have a strong competitor in the 2027 general elections, even with the combination of Kalonzo Msioka, Martha Karua, Eugene Wamalwa, Wiklo Fauparanya, Ali Hassan Joe, and the rest. Currently, as we speak, already the Azimio Laumoja One Kenya Alliance is dead because Azimio also was depending so much on Raila Amolo Dinga as the leader. Now that Raila Odinga is no longer active in Azimio, and of course, Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, Martha Karua, Eugene Omalwa, Wycliffe Oparanya, and the rest of Azimio top leaders cannot fit in the shoes of the Azimio Laumoja leadership. But I want you to listen very keenly to Wycliffe Oparanya, who is talking about the panic in ODM over Raila Odinga's exit. Who exactly will take over the leadership of the ODM party? When the, uh, there is change of card, eh, the people will be worried that will the party disintegrate. And that's why I have said that uh, we have one year. Raila is not going tomorrow, he's not going tomorrow, but one next month. We, he has one year because the elections will be held in January. And if he has to take over the position, if he wins the election in January, he will take over in March next year. So we have a whole year as a party to organize ourselves, which is enough time to organize ourselves and to stabilize. We have to talk about Nazimio, because we have to talk about Nazimio, because we have to talk about Nazimio, because we have to talk about Nazimio. Let me also read for you this article from the Star newspaper with the headline Joho vs. Oparanya Big Split on Raila Amolodinga's Successor. It proceeds to say that leading ODM insiders differ on who should take over as the former Prime Minister Raila Amolodinga eyes for the African Union top job. Ladies and gentlemen, in ODM, it is not only Ali Hassan Joe and Wycliffe Oparanya who are fighting for the position of the leadership in ODM. Remember the ODM party chairman, John Mbadi, who is not secured at all as the ODM party chairman. In fact, there was a time that ODM party leaders wanted to remove John Buddy from that position until Raila Amolo Odinga himself intervened. Raila Odinga successfully managed to save John Buddy. What about now that Raila Odinga is not there? What do you think will happen to the ODM party chairman, John Buddy? Only time will tell. Don't forget the ODM party secretary general Edwin Sifuna, who is endorsing Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musioka for the 2027 general elections presidential bid. Edwin Sifuna is doing this while still in ODM. But the question is, who gave him the permission to endorse Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musioka? Because even Raila Odinga himself has not yet endorsed Kalonzo Musioka for the 2027 general election presidential bid. But Edwin Sifuna 
is doing all this because he feels like he is now the superior in ODM. So there is this fight for the leadership. Who is more superior than the other? Also, Honorable Babu Oino, the Embakasi East member of the National Assembly. Babu Oino has always wanted the ODM party leadership to be restructured. So let us wait and see how things will turn out to be. But the big question here is, what next for ODM party ahead of the 2027 general elections without Raila Amolo Odinga as the ODM party leader? Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in this analysis as I explain to you the dangerous secret behind all these issues. But before that, just a quick reminder. If you are listening to me and you haven't subscribed, I'm requesting you to please just take a second or two and subscribe to this channel. You can also give this video a like. If you do that, YouTube will automatically recommend this channel and this video in particular to reach out to others so that we can grow. To my returning subscribers who are listening to me, I really want to appreciate you for your continued support. The truth is, without your support, then this channel cannot be where it is. And that is why I don't take the support for granted. You can also activate all the notifications in this channel so that every time immediately I post a video here, YouTube will automatically send you the notifications. You can do that by simply pressing the notification bell. Having said that, now let us go straight into the details. What do you think will happen to the ODM party with the absence of Raila Amolodinga ahead of the 2027 general elections? Number one, President William Samwe Arab Ruto will successfully manage to kill ODM party, just like what he did to the Jubilee party. Currently, as we speak, Jubilee party is no longer existing. William Ruto will simply do that with a very simple strategy. William Ruto will only use the ODM party rebels to cause the split within ODM party. Because Raila Odinga will not exist as a politician in ODM. Therefore, the strength of ODM party will no longer be there. Raila Molo Odinga is the only pillar in ODM. Let me also tell you this. We all wish the best for Raila Odinga in the African Union chairman position. But what if, God forbid, Raila Odinga will lose that position? Do you think that ODM by that time will still have the strength that it currently has? I don't think so. Because the 2027 general elections will be so close. Raila Odinga will not have that time to strengthen the ODM party across the country again. Number two, what will happen to ODM is this. If the ODM party will still exist, and I repeat, if the ODM party will still exist ahead of the 2027 general elections with the absence of Raila Odinga, it means that the ODM party will only exist in one region. I don't want to mention that region. Basically, what I mean is this. ODM party will be a village party. And finally, President William Samuel Ruto's UDA party will be the largest party here in Kenya. I'm saying this because it is only the ODM party which has always challenged President William Ruto's UDA party because ODM is the second largest party here in Kenya. So with the absence of Raila Amolodinga, ODM party will be very, very weak. President William Ruto has always wanted the affiliated parties of the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance to dissolve and join one party, the UDA party. And remember that a big national party here in Kenya also comes with a lot of money. William Ruto is doing business. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. I also want to know your thoughts, your views, and your opinions in the comment section down below. What do you think will happen if Ray Lodinga will exit the ODM party for the commission of the African Union chairman position? Let me see you again in my next analysis. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. My name is Jason. Bye-bye.